The important thing is this. Now, I was hoping you Christians will answer this question. Okay, the question that you need to ask, answer is this. If the only way you can be forgiven for your sin is by human sacrifice of one of the persons of the Trinity, yes? Then the question is, which person of the Trinity died for you? If you tell me that it is Jesus, then is that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity, am I right? Yeah. So you were, you're implying that the second person of the Trinity is not immortal. That means he's not co-equal with God Almighty, who according to 1 Timothy 6.16 is only, he alone is immortal, nobody else. So you are either going to contradict yourself or you're going to be in a state where your sins are not forgiven because as Christians, you believe in this pagan concept where you have to have human sacrifice of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus Christ which, is, which I think is sick. Jesus pagan. Christ did die on the cross for the remission of sins. So the second person of the and Trinity? He said, he said, he said, no, I just wanted to confirm. Is that well, the second person of the Trinity who died for you? Jesus Christ. No, died. is that the second person of the Trinity? How do you all believe that all Christians believe in Trinity? Do you not believe in the Trinity? I will explain to you. <laughs> this is a simple question. Listen, exactly. Listen, I will explain you can to you. use any semantics. Christ, You'll still come Jesus to the Trinity Christ, belief. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Is God. By the way, do you want to give him your turn? Just don't blame me afterwards. Jesus Christ. I want, I want, I want to well, then I want you to answer rather than in him. Because the, then. The then you'll both no, talk brother, then. In the Bible, finish, in the Bible yeah? Jesus Christ oh, makes several yeah. statements yeah. as regards to his death. And prior to when Jesus Christ came on earth, there have been a lot of prophecies that also prophesied about... Which Jesus question Christ. are you answering so I may know? No, Which I'm question are you answering? All your question that you said about but I only asked you one question. I asked you only one question, my friend. Yeah, Which person of the Trinity died for you? Jesus Christ did die. Is that the second person I don't of the believe Trinity? In Trinity but Jesus Christ okay, do you believe in a Godhead? I believe in God. Jesus What's the difference God. between a Godhead and a Trinity? And Jesus Christ is God. No, no, I want to know if he's God, yes. then did he die? He died. So God can die. God can die. Stop. That's it. No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is Janaza time. Do you give me a No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is. You're done, bro. You're done. No, 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 no. Not on it. Not on it. God, what's the video? Why shouting now? Calm down. I know you're done. Stop shouting. Okay. What is the meaning of God? I will answer to you what is God. Okay. What is God? We believe that there are certain attributes. No, no. No, good. But he I wants me to answer. I want everybody here no, to you're listen. not answering the question. Will you answer my question? You have you have answer. Answer. I did. But you have to I answer. did. Answer. Okay, I'll tell you, you you okay, I'll tell you what God is. Tell me if you disagree with me. Okay, I'll tell you what God is. There are certain attributes which... Guys, guys, guys. Calm down. Everyone calm down. What's your What's your name, my friend? Anybody here can tell me what is the meaning of God? Yeah, I will. What's your name? F.A. F.A.? Yes. F.A. Cup? Maybe. Okay, what's your name? You have to think about it. <laughs> Tom. It was, it was different the last time you answered me. Like, why are they so... You know, my name is Hashim, you know? Sim simple, I don't have to think twice about it. Okay, any Tom, Dick and Harry, let's see. Whatever it is, your names are... The important question is this. You ask me what is God. To me, God Almighty... Listen, listen, listen. He saved you. He saved me? Actually, actually, he put your Trinity in a dire situation. Yeah, yeah. If you believe that God can die, then you don't believe that God even is the one who is in charge of death and life. What is the meaning of God? For me, God is the one who is the Almighty. Who is the what? Can I answer the way I want without you interrupting? Okay. God is Almighty. He is the one who is the sovereign Lord over everyone. He's the one who's a creator. He's the one who's immutable. That means he doesn't change. Yeah. He's the one who's eternal and immortal. Yes? Have you finished? No, I haven't. Immortal and eternal. Do you know what immortal means? So you're Me surprised. That is not the meaning of God. Wait a minute. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. I'll give you all the verses from the Bible if you want. Don't worry. In the Bible, God says he alone is immortal in 1 Timothy 6.16. If you don't know that, maybe you haven't read your Bible. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse number 16. Okay, so in the context of 1 Timothy 6, 16, maybe you have to explain to me. So you have to explain to me what is the meaning of immortal. Just why, tell me. And, yeah. and now, why I said, they listen, make their Bible. listen, yeah. it, might, it might be a strange thing to you. What is the meaning of God? Don't, don't. The God, God, he God, he not I know, I know. I know why he, I said that. Are you going to talk to me or? Yeah. Okay. I know okay. why I said that. So explain to me First Timothy 16 where it says God alone is immortal. Explain that to me. God alone, no, one question by another. 
I have to watch the meaning of God. God and I gave you the answer. God no. God Did I not? That is not the answer. Let me give you. Allah says in the Quran. Let me give you the meaning of God. That means there's nothing like a Christian. Let me give you the definition of God. No, answer the first Timothy 16. Let me give you the definition of God. No, the definition of God. From where? I asked you. From the Bible? From the Bible? Listen. I asked you what is God. Yeah. And you tell me God is a is let me remember say yeah what did i say heaven and earth the only one, i never said that no god is the creator yeah of, of heaven everything heaven. not just heaven and earth yeah everything immortal he that dwells alone in you just immortality said you to that's to that's no that's what he said immutable oh. Oh. immortal the word god uh, the word god as an english word <laughs> was derived from elohim <laughs> elohim which means god in hebrew and Elohim, listen, listen, Elohim can be God. That is why Moses was called God. Did Moses die or not? How is that definition of God? No, 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 listen, that is God, G-O-D. Are you, are, you, are you responding to any of my questions? Yeah. No, you're not. G-O-D is a title. It's a title, it's not a name. I never said it's a name. That's why why putting so many arguments? Did I say it's a name? No. Yeah, so now, G-O-D. Even Elohim is a title. It means, Do you agree? it means, Someone who have power and authority. Yes, I, I don't address, deny that. I can address, How does that define God? Listen, I can address the queen as God because of the power and authority. Maybe she's your goddess, not mine. I can address the prime minister as God. So if I say God dies, define Moses, God. Moses define God. God. That was your question. Define Moses it. Moses was made to be bro, God. Bro, bro, we have one discussion. To be God. To be God. To no, Pharaoh. No, 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 no. But the thing is this: why you put God Where is the definition? I'm waiting for it. Where definition? is the definition of God, according to you? What did Jesus Christ say? No. He said to the to, to, to the custodians of the law, "So no. don't you know that ye are gods?" Jesus didn't say that. That's in Psalm 82, 6. Not Psalm 82. Oh, sorry, John. Jesus Christ said. John 10, 34. Yeah. Jesus Christ said. Yes. Quoting Psalm, yeah. the book of yeah. Psalm. Why did he say and that? Why he said that is yeah. because those ones are the one having powers and authority. The, of the Jews there, they have uh, no, no. Why did he say that? They have the scriptures, the powers and authority. Why did this? Why did Jesus say, "Ye are, are God, God"? Yeah. Why did he say that? They are the one. No, you don't know your own Bible. Read the rest. John 10, 34. You know why he said that? Do you so know why? Because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. This thing, if you don't get this wrong, this one, you don't even know why. You will never Bible. get it. Actually, Bible. I'll be listening to you, and you'll be confusing a yeah. lot of people. Actually, you're the one confusing. Listen. God, no, no. God Almighty. Where's the definition of God? I'm still God waiting. Almighty. I'm still God waiting. Almighty yeah. It's different. Definition of it's different. God. That's the title. Definition. I said is that your definition? God, that is different. God is derived from Elohim, which means simply. How is that a definition? In simplicity. It means power and authority. Someone who has power and authority. So is Jesus God? That is it. Yes. So, oh, so wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute. If the, is the queen? Are you, are you not getting? Wait a minute. According to you, power and authority. Listen, listen. Hello. The word G-O-D, the word G-O-D, yeah. was derived from Elohim, which means someone with power and authority. So the queen is God? That's it. That's it. The queen is God. Do you worship her? Do you worship her? The queen is God. Do you worship the queen? According to the definition of God. Who made that definition? Definitely it's general. Who? No, no, no. Yeah, check the Bible. Show me the definition of God. Go on. Definitely. Yeah. God, God, God. Show me the definition. Why did? You know what? In the Quran, Allah gives a very... Wait a minute, bro. In the Quran, Allah gives a very clear definition. Laysa kamithli shayya. Yes? Now, this is called the definition of God, which means there is none like unto God Almighty. Yes? Which means any creation who claims, like his queen, like his queen, he says he's God. Anyone who claims, you know, according to him, the Pharaoh is God. By the way, is... Are there no gods in the world? Is the devil God? Are there no gods in the world? Listen, listen. Is the devil God? Devil is a God. Yeah. Don't lie, these guys. I think you should come back in. He's gone. He's a devil. The devil is not the Bible. The devil is not the Bible. Actually, he's right. In the Bible, in 2 Corinthians 4 4, it does say that the devil is the Lord of the earth. Yes, he's right. You understand? He has power and authority. Let me tell you something. The word GOD. G-O-D does not have any attribute. The word G-O-D is simply... But I didn't ask about God. I said about God Almighty. Listen, there are a lot of gods in this world. Yeah, what is the definition? What is the definition of God Almighty? Can I answer? You know, when I when I asked you the definition of God, I was expecting you to answer the definition of God Almighty. How many God Almighty's are there? God Almighty. I'm coming to that. God Almighty is known as God of Gods. 
God of God. That's why it's called Almighty. Yeah. Almighty God. So is Jesus? Don't miss it. Let me ask you this: Is Jesus God Almighty? It's not. Oh. Alhamdulillah. Now come. come. He said he's God here. He said he's God. Understand me? What's this man? He's not he Almighty. Say, he's God of God. Almighty God. Rulers, yeah. Almighty so, God. So there are God. there are demigods and Almighty the powerful God. Yes, and and you know you know in a way in ma in a way he does make sense. But we do agree that there are a God, semi God. There is Almighty God. There is Almighty God, which is the creator of heaven and earth. Okay. Now define Godhead. Let's see. Which, you said you believe in the Godhead. Define Godhead. Almighty God. No, define Godhead now. What is Godhead? Define. You I said, don't believe in Trinity. I didn't ask you Trinity. I said Godhead. You said you believe I in said Godhead. I don't believe in Trinity. Do you believe in Godhead? God, the God, the Son, and the Father. No, I don't believe in that. Do you? You don't believe in God. I believe in God Almighty. Okay. And His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, which is also God in His own right. Okay. So, so, yes. so when you say when you say God in His own right, it's like the Queen, yeah? She's God in her own right. Okay. So. Earlier, when I asked Why you, do you attach holiness to that word God. No, no, hold on. I never attached holiness. In fact, you as see? Muslims, listen, listen. You never as, attach holiness. Can I answer? Can I answer? So, as Muslims, we have a specific title and name for God Almighty, and that is the term Allah. For God Almighty. Can I finish? Yeah. Can I finish? For God, other I did gods. not interrupt you. Let me for finish. God, Let God. me finish. Yeah. The term Allah cannot be used for anyone other than God Almighty. So this supreme God, this God which I defined to you earlier, who is immortal immutable, unchanging, who is the supreme God of everyone, who is the one who is the creator of everything. That is yes? Almighty Can I finish? God. That's without, Almighty God. Without interrupting, that's what I'm saying. So the term Allah is only used for God Almighty. No, Almighty God. However, however, you know, you know, listen, listen, we have a lot of God listen, listen. Allah says in the Quran, there's a term called Ilah. The term, the, gods. Yeah, the term Ilah can be used for false gods, yeah. can be used for true God depending on the context. So there are many Ilah. That's why we, the Shahada, we say La Ilaha. Yes, we negate every false God. La Ilaha illallah. And we only affirm one true almighty God that is Allah. That is the beauty of the, of the Shahada, that we negate every false God. So you see the problem with the Christians? He uses the term God, so he has to define it. Whether in what context you're using. Whenever the term Allah, wait a minute, stop interrupting. Whenever the term Allah is used, we know immediately which God is talking about. It's always the God Almighty. But when the term Elah is used, or when the term Elohim is used, or when the term God is used, we know this can mean false gods. It can even mean the angels. It can be Moses. It can be human beings. It can be anyone who is not Almighty God. And it can also so mean, wait is a minute. Allah, what, where is Allah derived from? Allah was actually now he's going to another topic. Before you go that, before you go that, let me ask you this. Let me ask, now it's my turn to ask you a question. Can you be forgiven without the healing? Answer my question. No, no, I, you asked me. Remember you said who is God? No, no, wait. You asked me the definition of God. Yes or no? That was your question. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. Can you be forgiven without the human sacrifice of God, of Jesus? Can you be forgiven without the human sacrifice Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is God. That was my question. And definitely he came to lay his life down for the remission of sin. That was my question either. Yeah. So definitely, definitely I cannot be saved without the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made. So you have to believe in the human sacrifice? Not the human sacrifice. The sacrifice of, yes, the human sacrifice of Jesus no, no. as a perfect blood. Do you, do you know, do you know human sacrifice is a pagan ritual? Why do you, why do you go with the pagan ritual? I know you come to that. What do you mean I come to that? I know you come to that. It was a pagan ritual in the Old Testament. Wait, wait. In the Old Testament, they were sacrificing their children to Baal, the false god. And God said, God said, do not do this. It will not even, it will not even cross his mind for any such sacrifices of humans to God or to false god or whatever it is. He's saying the only way he can be saved is by a human sacrifice. You see, in other words, he doesn't believe in forgiveness. He believes in payment by blood. Payment by blood. Yes. You only just want your voice to be heard. Blood is very important. For, for cannibals, yes. For listen to me. For someone who's like a Dracula, yes. For them, blood is important. For pagans, yes. As Muslims, you know, you like, we just had Eid al Adha recently. In the Quran, Allah says, neither the blood nor the flesh of the animal goes to Allah, reaches Allah, because He didn't ask for any of that. It, it, it is a piety of the person which reaches Allah. Listen, it has been explained in the Bible. Whatever you want to say, you can say it all. You understand? But you already said you believe in a pagan ritual, human sacrifice. Before, 
allowed Israel only to worship him when they will bring the sacrifice of an animal. Before no. everybody is born. That's not true. Yes, it is true. true. That's not true. Yes, it is true. I can show you it's several it's verses it's where you don't need any animal sacrifice. Even flour. This flour has have blood. Flour. Those sacrifices were for certain, um, for, for reasons. But they were what reasons? Once again, what reasons? There was a, a day of atonement. Yeah. That if the high it priest is, so did not perform that, that ritual knowledge. and a sacrifice. For unintentional sins. If you don't know, know Unintentional sins. And, and why God, why God, the so word God himself, that is God the says, generation, I mean, fallacy. I think you're obsessed God. with the word I've already defined no, to you. No, no, that is a wrong word. It is wrong. What is wrong? You are defining God Almighty. Of course I was, that was my question. God Almighty. So you it's misunderstood my question. God. By the way, why shouting? Calm down. Do I know you have a lot of energy. You yeah, might have no, used no. some energy Do drink or something. Where Calm down. From? First and foremost, you want God, you don't know it. I, when you ask, wait you a minute. When you say God, when you say God, yes. do you take the context into consideration? Every context I take into consideration. Good. But so when I ask you, the word God was derived from energy. Can I at least finish my statement? Can I finish my statement? Yeah, go ahead. When you use the term God in English, did that word even exist during the time of Jesus? As Elohim. Okay. What, yes. do, what was the name? Wait a minute. Later. Let me ask you this. What was the name so that... Wait God a minute. God. What is the name that Jesus used for God Almighty? For God Almighty? Yes. When on his cross, when he was about to die... Yeah, what, what is the name Eli, of God? Eli, Father, Father. Allah, Allah, Allah is not Father, Father. It's my God, my God. My God, my God. So you, don't, don't yeah. misinterpret. He was calling Thanks, my Allah. God, my God. You understand? Which actually he referred to as Father. Yes. You understand? So, so, so God you, Almighty, listen. God Almighty. I'm shouting. Calm down. Yeah, God Almighty now. Calm down. Is Take the a God, deep breath. Is the God Calm. of gods. Definitely, there are a lot of gods in this world. Like you say in the Bible, the devil was referred to as God of this world. Because of our Lord of this world. Do you believe that? I believe Do you believe that. that? I believe that. You know, in the Quran, Allah says, Rabbul Samawati wal Ard. That means He is the God of, yeah, the, God of, of the, the heavens world. and the earth. According to the Bible, who's the God of the earth? Definitely. The shaitan. Oh, the shaitan. Okay. No, no, no. We're coming to that. By the way, why is, why is Jesus cursed in the Bible and the shaitan is called Lord of the world? Why is Jesus cursed? Why is Jesus cursed? Yes. Do you know your Bible? In what way? Why is Jesus called the curse? He became a curse for you. Do you remember that? He became a curse for me. Yeah, you didn't read the Bible, have you? In what way? Have you not read your Bible? <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Respect to me. Don't embarrass. Respect Just say, me. I don't know and I'll tell you. Have you read that passage or not? Jesus cursed. Yes, because Jesus is called a curse. He became a curse for you. So the Satan in two, uh, two is it Corinthians, yeah, two Corinthians four four is the Lord of the world. Yeah. Jesus in Galatians chapter three verse thirteen says he became a curse for you. So in the Quran, Allah blessed Jesus, uh, Isa alayhi salam, and the Shaitan is called. You mean you mean for Satan? Is the one who is cursed. Let me understand you. You mean for Satan being the Lord of this world, he was a curse. No, no, no. You haven't read your Bible. Have you got a Bible on you? Open Galatians. I don't have Bible. I don't go open. Bible. Give him the Bible if you don't mind. I don't have Bible. Open it and read it. No, no. Why are you saying read it? What do you mean? No, you don't try. Open it. You don't believe it. in the Bible? No. Open, open it. it. Come on. Yeah, I do want to have it. Open, open it. it. Why you can't touch it? Yeah, no. Open it. And read it. Why don't you read it? I would love to read my Quran. You know. Open it and read. Why don't you read? Afi? You got it. Afi, read it. You got it. Afi, I, I insist you read. I'm teaching you your Bible. Learn. You don't teach me. I'll teach you. Okay. What does Galatians three thirteen say? Galatians three thirteen. Yeah. What does it say? I might not know it at right, but definitely. No, you no, said you're going to teach me. No, so go on, I'm, teach you. I'm waiting for you. Teach me, Galatians 3.30. He doesn't say, I don't know. Okay. You know, you don't have to be so arrogant. Say, I don't know. Listen, Simple as that. When they quoted, when they quoted, when I was telling you about Surah uh, 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 chapter 4, verse 157, when this man was trying to correct you, when you were quoting chapter 5, verse 158, did you know? So don't tell me that. You said you you're going to teach... You were earlier quoting Surah chapter 5, verse 158. I told you the crucifixion of Jesus Christ in the Quran was in Surah chapter 5. Are you teaching him the Bible or the Quran? Verse one, so you know the Quran better than your Bible? No, no. Wow. Don't prove, this, don't prove this as if I don't know read the Bible. Read it. I'm educating you now. Read it. You understand? Read it. So you did a mistake earlier on. Okay, so, so I got a reference wrong. Big deal. So but I didn't. But I never said I never said I know the Quran by heart. Exactly. You could have said that as well. I don't know the Bible by heart. Exactly. Say that. Yeah, so nobody is claiming that. No, you said you were going to teach me. Remember? I will, I will teach you. Right. So yeah, teach me Galatians right. 3 Go on. I don't know if I have, but I will teach you. How can you teach me something you don't know? Okay, give me the okay, give me the context of 3 Give me, give me the saying. context. Hello, give me the context. What you Wait, give me the context of Galatians 3. I don't know. I'm not asking you for the exact words. Give me the context. Let's see if he's even read his Bible. At least I can give you the context. Even if I gave you the wrong reference, 
for chapter 4, 157. And I made a mistake saying it's 5, 157. I would have given you. Say. Galatia 3, yeah. from verse 9, was talking about the, the birth of Jesus Christ, which was the firstborn of all creation. No, I said 3.13, not 9. You understand? 3.13. So, if I can know 9, definitely I know what is there. You oh, you but definitely know. I not know so, 13. So, why don't you tell me I, that if I you know definitely? 13, you see, he's still arrogant. He doesn't say, I don't know. I might not know 13, specifically. You said definitely. So, but tell what me what is written it. in uh, okay, Galatia you... chapter 3. By the way, do you believe I Jesus... Well, at least, do you believe Jesus became a curse for you? Became the curse for you? For you. Not for me. <laughs> Whose Bible is this? Whose Bible is this? Jesus is a blessing. To Who the believes world. this is the Bible, the Word of God? Who? You or me? Definitely, I believe it. So why are you saying it's my book? Majnoon wallah. I believe You know, it. honestly. Galatians so 3.13. Read it. Read, read, it. Okay. read it and interpret. Go, teach me. This is your moment to teach me. No, you read it, ask me. Why, you can't read? I listen to you. You can't read English? I, re I can't read English. I'll you cannot read English. Listen, and he was going to teach me. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll read it because you can't read. Which language do you read? I can bring that Bible for you. Read it. Greek? Read it and let me see. Okay. By the way, he didn't know Jesus became a curse. So I'm going to educate him from his own Bible. Galatians chapter 3, verse number 13. Okay? It says here, I'll bring, read it from 12 to give you context. The law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says the person who does things will be by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse. Explain. By becoming a curse. Yes. All right, go ahead. Continue. By becoming a curse, mm -hmm. for it is written, cursed is everyone who hung on a pole. Okay, this is from the Old Testament. He redeemed us in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive a promise, the promise of the Spirit. Now, I want you to explain this bit. Yes. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for it us. Very, very explain. Simple. It is very, very simple. In yeah. the sense that, let me ask you a question. Uh, it is very, very simple in the sense that he became for a you curse. to become a curse, for you to become a curse. Not for you, for Jesus. Yeah, for Jesus to become a curse yes. means that he took upon the sin, the sinful nature of mankind. And he became and a curse. You, and when you are a sinful person, you are a curse to God Almighty. At that point in time, it will become a curse to God Almighty. Wasn't that his job? So to take now, the sins. Now, so after Jesus doing the job, took upon why, why the are you shouting? Calm down. You're I having have a, enough energy okay. to spend. Leave yeah, but I didn't ask you so, to spend your energy. Go play badminton okay, or something. I don't Jesus, know. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus spend. took upon the sins of the whole world, and he became a curse. Yes, at that point in time. By the way, do you know in the Quran who is the curse? Who? The Shaitan. Shaitan. Who is the curse in the Bible? So who is Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus is Isa alayhi salam. Isa ibn Maryam. So in the Quran... So believe in him. Wait, 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 wait a minute. In the Quran, the Shaitan is a curse. Yes? A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Yes? We seek refuge from the Shaitan. So we seek refuge with Allah from the Shaitan who is cursed. Jesus is wait, wait, wait a minute. In the Quran, the Shaitan is cursed. In the Bible... Jesus is a blessing. No, no. Who is a curse? Time. Actually, in the Quran, is a blessing, not in the Bible. In the Bible, he became a curse. He was killed and you know, of the sin. Wait, wait. Why are you just... But wasn't that his job? so blind to it. Let me ask you. Wasn't that his job? If he completes his job as God expected of him, why did he become a curse? He did complete it. You know, if your son... Listen. Okay, okay. Take for example. Yeah, go if, on. if you become a curse, definitely, definitely, if you become a curse to you, we as human, definitely you must become a Einstein curse to God Almighty. So who cursed him? So why did God took him away? Who cursed him? Why did God took him away? I will give you the answer, but first you need to answer. Who cursed Jesus? Nobody cursed him because this sin, he was only expressing. It was it was only expressing. Who is expressing this? It's Who? St. Paul. St. Paul was only expressing. No, no, no. St. Paul is referring to the Old Testament. Who is, yeah. who is expressing in the Old Testament? God Almighty. Oops. You're quiet yeah. now. <laughs> Definitely. God Almighty. But at that point, why would God curse Jesus? Himself. Was Jesus righteous or a cursed one? Oh so why did God curse him? So do you believe Jesus was cursed? No. In your Quran? No, we don't. Oh, Alhamdulillah. In fact, that is an insult to my Rasul, well, insult to my no, messenger, insult to my Messiah. And I'm for him, he's not, he's, he doesn't no, even bat an island. I'm explaining it to you that it was because he took up this nature of sin. That's why they used What do you mean took up the sin? What does that mean? What does he taking up sin mean? Does that mean he became the biggest sinner in the world? That's why he's cursed? He took up the old sins of the world. Okay, so where is the sin? And he died. Where is the sin now? It's gone. The natural sin is gone. Gone where? As a repression of sin. Where did the sin go? To Jesus. 
from him where did he go jesus tries to cop the sin of the world. because you know the way he saying took up the sin it is like some sort of an yes. object some sort of an object he took upon himself so after that where did That's he go he died he went to the, he went to hell no wonder you believe in Jesus is cursed. You believe in a pagan ritual of human sacrifice? I don't sacrifice? believe Jesus is cursed. But he it took just says it. He just says it. No, he was explaining. I educated on you. You didn't even know about he this. He was explaining the sin. A minute ago, you didn't even know about this. I educated ask you on this. Ask me. It's Hashim, not Ashmi. Whatever. No, what do you mean whatever? What is it? Hashim. 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 I'm not an Arabic. I, I can't can put can it. No, no, no. When, that, when, you, <laughs> when you pronounce my name, Efe, do I, do, I, do I make any... But it is Efe. Did I pronounce it wrong? Efe. Efe. Not Efe. But I asked you, so is it Efe Cup? You said yes. You don't have respect for your own name? What can no. I do? I said, is it Efe Cup? He said, okay, whatever. No, you don't just have to be very, very strict about no, someone calling no, you if, if somebody oh, mispronounces my dialect, name, as a, as a listen, dialect, listen. Uh, if you can't pronounce it, that's fine. I will. But if you're saying hash me. There are some people who cannot pronounce T. That's fine. Or v. Pronounce it to your best ability. But yeah. don't mispronounce it. That's so all I'm saying. I don't mean to, I don't mean to mispronounce it. That's fine, no problem. So once again, yeah. listen, listen. Can I ask so you something? Because, because what is the name? Because. You know earlier, my friend, my friend, listen, listen. You know, in the Quran, Allah has given us 99 names of Allah. Yes? What is the name of Almighty God in your New Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus called him Father. That's not a name, that's a title. Next. It's a title. Now give me his personal name so, of God Almighty. And when Jesus Christ was dying. Allah is the personal name of God. What is the name of your God in the New Testament? What does that mean with the New Testament? The, every testament comes together. What is written in the New Testament is as for time that was written from the Old Testament. Do you believe the in the New Testament. Testament or not? I believe in both the whole okay. Bible. Good. Context. So in the New Testament, because this is where Jesus is supposed to be preaching. I believe everything about the Bible. Listen, Jesus is supposed to be preaching in the New Testament, right? Not in the Old Testament. He's preaching. You make reference to the Old Testament. I didn't ask if you made reference. reference. I asked, is he, is he preaching in the New Testament or not? It doesn't matter. You make reference to the Old Testament. Okay. What does the Quran okay. make reference to? In the Bible, Jesus says, go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We know the name of the Son is Jesus or yeah. Isa. What is the name of the Father? The name of the Father is called Yahweh, which is Jehovah. Show me Yahweh in the New Testament, I challenge you. Not in the New Testament. That was my question. The Old Testament. That was my question. So why is in that? The Old Testament. So in the Old Testament, you have more than six, seven thousand. God Almighty declared his name once. He cannot come down and declare his name several times. Why is his name wiped out from the New Testament? Not even once. Why? Who why? gave them the authority to wipe out God's name? In the Old Testament, Yahweh appears six to seven thousand times. In the New Testament, so what, zero let, times. Let me tell you something, right? Can you answer this the question? Book, why yeah, did who gave them the authority to wipe out wait, God's name? There are different people who wrote these books, right? Do you know them? There are different people. Who Can wrote, you name any one of them? Definitely, they gave uh, they gave it to most of the disciples, Mark, Luke, and whatever. Oh, Luke was yeah. actually a disciple. Wow. Where did you learn that? They gave it to some of them. <laughs> he doesn't Luke, even know who the disciples Luke, are. Well, Allah is going to teach Luke me Christianity. Wasn't a disciple. This guy doesn't know who the twelve disciples are. Luke and he's did, not, did Luke even see Jesus with his eye? Luke did not see Jesus with his eye. So how did he write the Gospel so of Luke? He wrote from home. He wrote the Gospel of Luke. How? From right? home. Definitely. So from how did Muhammad write the Quran? Oh wait, don't change the topic. Hey, I will come to that. Hey, Muhammad hey. did not write the Quran. There you go. Now let me ask you this. How did so, Luke wait, wait, how did Luke write the Gospel of Luke if he never even saw Jesus? Was it hearsay? Definitely Luke wrote through inspiration. Because they said whatever it is written in the Bible no, is no, 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 no. through Wait. the inspiration of God Almighty. No, it didn't say inspiration of God. Let me re read the chapter of Luke. You, understand? you know, today, so today is Sunday school Almighty. for you, my friend. We're going to be educating you your Bible. You? For you, of course. You can have your arrogance, no problem. What does Luke say here? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. In the time of... Uh, sorry, here it is. Many have undertaken to... Draw, this is Luke 1.1. 1, 1. Many have undertaken to draw up the account of things that have been fulfilled among us. Yes, just as they were handed down to us by those from whom the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. Yes, with this in mind, since I myself, this is Luke speaking, I myself carefully investigated everything from the beginning. I too decided to write an orderly account for you. Who is a you here? My excellent Theophilus. So this Theophilus, the king at that yeah. time, he's writing it for whom? For him. Yes? Continue. Now, you didn't say this is an inspiration from God at any point here. And it goes on to say, so that you may know the certainty of the things that have been taught. Now, here Luke is saying, number one, that just because it was in vogue, it was in fashion, that other people are writing, and they wrote from the eyewitness of others, that means it's a second-hand knowledge to them, because other people were the eyewitness, not Luke, yes, not Mark, 
So these gospels were written by people, people who never even see Jesus. There are some statements. Eh? There are some statements. How do you? Can I ask you? How do you even believe in the Bible, which you have no way to verify that these are the words of Jesus? How will you believe in it? Jazakallah khairan. So, how do you believe? How do you believe? How can I? For example, you know, in yeah. in the hadith, which are actually not at the level of the Quran even. We have the Quran. Wait, wait. Yeah. Then come the hadith in sta in a status of authenticity. Yes. We. I'm asking you. Even the hadith, even the, the weak hadith, yes, has a chain of narration which goes from the from the person who collected the hadith all the way to chain of his companions, you, you and have, then all the way to Prophet Muhammad. This chain that grows that grows up to heaven. No, it doesn't think, go to heaven. You know, it goes you to know Muhammad. All the you know them one to one. Can I ask you where do you, you get the Bible from then? If you don't uh, even know a chain of narration, yeah. was written by, not by the Prophet Muhammad himself. I, I never said. said he did. So he was written by companions. Yes, he was. So who are those companions? How do I verify them? Very easy. It's in the hadith. Hadith. Then who wrote the hadith? How uh, do I verify his it? His companions. Companions. Can I, can I answer? Said. I know you're already. A... No, that is what you say. But can I ask how you? do I know? The question, how do I verify to, them? the question for you first, you answer yours, then I'll answer about the Quran. How do I verify Let's answer companions? about the Bible first because that was the question I asked you first. Let's be fair. No, answer okay? the companion. Yes, I will. I will after that. How is it that they are truth? True I will way. answer about the Quran because that was in the first question I asked you, asked you about the Bible. So can you please answer about the Bible and then I'll ask about the, the Bible Quran. The Bible was written yeah, by, by scholars. Home. Which scholars? By scholars. Name me the scholars. Name me one scholar. You read of Already. Luke is not a scholar who is the eyewitness. So he's not a scholar. No, but I said he's not a Bible. scholar who is the eyewitness. So how does he verify it's, it's what he wrote? I wrote like that. It's not a Bible. No. I've, been, I've been satisfied but, by the church fighters. No, no, but he said he's, he's, he's writing for Theophilus, not for you guys. Matthew, not a scholar and a disciple. My friend, all I'm asking friend. is that do you know that any first century manuscripts are even available today? Definitely, like the book of Enoch. <laughs> no, the book of Enoch is not even in the New Testament. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not in it, but definitely, these are first century. I'm asking so, you about the New Testament, my you friend. Understand? Show me. No, no, no. About your companion. No, no. You, you are there. Actually, you hold on, hold on. That was my question to you about the Bible. You're the one who deviated to the Quran. So, so don't. You put, can, no, it's, it's, don't it's, it goes fast. Yeah, I mean, it goes I said I will answer after you give me the answer. It goes both way. Yeah, it goes both ways. So I will not, I did not say I will not answer you. I said I will answer like, after you answer like me. You have been passed down from uh, ages to ages. That the companion of Muhammad yeah, I did, yeah. wrote the Quran. I, like this. I, I will, the companion. How do I verify them? They are also human. Listen, are they not? whatever it is you're asking, I will answer you. This is the third time I'm telling you, so please listen. I know you have a habit of shouting without listening. I will don't answer, I will answer, because you. that's what you've been doing. Yeah, don't insult I will me. answer you. You know what? Don't insult me. Respect me as I respect you. Really? I've never, so earlier when you said you're going to I'm educate me, wasn't an insult? Because it goes you both said ways. You said no, no, it goes both ways. Okay? So anyway. He said, I will educate you. So don't educate okay. me, and I don't educate you. Wait, That's what's what's the, I have no problem you educating me something I don't know. Maybe you're arrogant, so, but I'm not. I'm not arrogant. In fact, I love to learn new things. And I'll say I'm to you, arrogant. so you don't mind learning from me? Likewise, you yourself don't. See what I mean? Arrogant? Don't you, don't you, anyway, don't you, let's, let's not sidetrack again. You have to Did I ask you the question about the Bible first or not? What it does, man, what it does most is psych, definitely. How long you have you been watching my videos? I watch many times. No wonder you're psyched. And this other, <laughs> uh, you and uh, this other man that was standing here. Mansoor. 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 And that one that was. Is this your first time you speak as corner? My second time. Oh, second time. You must have yeah. got away from me for the first time. Yeah, okay. Anyway, better late than never. So, since I asked you the question first, it's only fair that you answer me and then I'll answer your question. No problem. Okay, go ahead. So, my question is how will you verify anything written in the New Testament? When you have no eyewitness accounts, when you have no first century manuscripts or second century manuscripts or even third century manuscripts, then how will you verify anything? Peter is not eyewitness account. Show me the manuscripts that you have that you can verify the I writing. I don't have manuscripts. Definitely, this Bible has been translated. I can't even read the manuscripts okay. because most of the manuscripts even, were written in Greek. Okay, even if they were written in Greek, do you have anything from the first century? You understand? That I, of the I, New Testament? I, I have. Yeah, anything, not you personally, do you know in existence, in yeah. Christendom, is there any first, first century Peter. manuscripts? First Peter. Okay, where is the manuscript John. of First Peter and John? Where are they? I don't have to go along with the manuscripts. Because you're making a claim, so you should at least I know where they are. Along with manuscripts. You know when I give you manuscripts of the Quran, the Sana'a so manuscript, the, manuscript, the top, uh, the top copy manuscript is in Turkey. Turkey, the Sana'a manuscript is in Yemen. Okay, so we have this manuscript. I, I can give you. you. Well, go and check it then, if you don't believe me. But you don't even know where they are. I don't believe you. Well, you don't have to believe me. Go and so verify. Show it to me. Okay, have you heard of the Sana'a manuscript? About have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard okay, about okay. it. Okay, what is the Sana'a manuscripts and how much of the Quran is in there? Yeah, you show it to me. He hasn't done any research. 
And this is what happens when you're arrogant, when you don't want to learn things. At least I'm, I'm honest and I'm you telling you, you, when you don't do something, I don't know. You. Show it to me. Show it to you? Yeah. Oh, you want to physically? Okay. okay. okay answer my question. Buy me a ticket to Yemen. Yalla, let's go. Answer my question. Let's I'll buy it. a ticket. I have a lot of money. I'll buy a ticket. Yeah, yalla then. When are you I'll buying buy me? Next week, don't worry. He's on, <laughs> he's on camera. Let's see if he's telling a lie. I don't tell lies, man. So you're we telling the go. truth? We can go. Next week, if you don't find me in Yemen, he's a liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's already... He, he's actually that. He's that. Oh, that's a joke. Wow. You said you don't lie. Uh, <laughs> I, I might not be able to pronounce your name properly. I, ask me Hashim. Hashim. It's very I, simple. Hashim. Right. Now, say for example, the, the Sahabas you talk about. The no, no. Before you go to the Sahabas, you haven't finished about the Bible. I can categorically tell you that there is zero manuscripts of the New Testament anywhere in the world. I can categorically tell you this anywhere, anywhere. on the camera, and I'm not lying about this. If you can find a single Christian, yeah. yes, who has such a manuscript, that guy will be the richest man in the world. If he's hiding it, and if he shows it, yes. But right now, to the present there are, knowledge, there are a lot of, there are a lot no, of. don't speculate unless you can tell me where. Listen, don't there speculate. Are a lot of that were discovered by the Red. Uh, they call them the Red Sea. Was it scrolls? Yes, yeah, scrolls. Yeah. Is it about the New Testament yeah, or the Old? Let's see if he knows that. It's a, some about the Old Testament and some about the New Testament. Actually, zero about the New Testament. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> he some doesn't know the Red Sea Scrolls. It's called the, not yeah, Red Sea, it's called the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls. You don't even know the name, Habibi. Why are the you Dead lying sea. from your feet? The Dead Sea Scrolls, is it? Yeah, but you're lying. It's about the Old Testament, not the New Testament. No. They have some about the New Testament. Too. You know, now you're not only arrogant, but you're exposing yourself as someone they who lies. The New Testament. You can cross check the Dead Sea Why should I cross check? You're making the claim. Show me anyone who says that this is cross is about the New Testament. It's about it. How can it be about it's it? It's about the old, but there are some about the New Okay, which part of it is about the New Testament? Go on. I wouldn't know for now. So I stop speculating. Know. No, I won't speculate, but I know for fact. But I wouldn't oh, you know able. for a fact? I wouldn't be okay. able. Let's open, able let's open Google. You got to Google, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so go on. Because you're the one making the claim. The onus is on you to provide the evidence. You know, this is what happens when you have little knowledge about things you say. The guy didn't even know it's called the Dutch calls. You don't no, no. on the proof, I'm talking to him, all right? So, what alhamdulillah, you that you know can you please find the evidence? You're the one made the claim, so the honors is on you to prove it. And if you can't prove it too, at least admit in front of the camera that you don't know. And then this is not about the New Testament. There is zero manuscripts of the New Testament. And the Old Testament, there is after thousand years after Moses. So both the Old and the New Testament, you don't have anything from the time of Moses in the case of the Torah, and nothing in the case of Jesus from the time of Jesus. Yes, so both the New Testament and the Old Testament, they have manuscripts which date to several hundred years. In fact, Dr. Bart Ehrman, who is one of, the, one of the main professors, one of the main scholars who actually specializes in this topic about textual criticism and texts of the New Testament, he says majority of the New Testament, it dates to 9th century or later. 94% of it, 94 which is the majority of the New Testament, is after the 9th century, or, sorry, from the 9th century onwards. That means it can be even later than that. So Alhamdulillah, we don't have that problem with the Quran. We have manuscript from the 1st century, Al-Hijra. We have the Birmingham manuscript in, the, in Birmingham University. You can go and check it. It was, it was in the BBC as well. So you'll find out. So have you found the New Testament in the Dead Sea Scrolls? He's yeah, coming. He'll be here all night. If he, <laughs> You know, just say I don't know, you know, there's nothing wrong in saying that. If I don't know something, I'll just say I don't know. It saves a lot of hassle, a lot of trouble, and it actually makes you look sincere rather than being arrogant and insincere and making assertions. He was well, making well, you're assertions. Right, you're right, you're right. You're right concerning the dead street school. Okay, yeah, you're right. You said it was a fact. You know what? You are right, okay. you're right. I made a mistake on that. Sorry. Alhamdulillah. Right. Finally, so, some humility. When I make mistake, I will know, I will okay. stop. So now the question still stands. The question the still stands. Stroke, you are right. But now, so the question still stands. Can I ask is my there a, No, no. First, you need to answer this. Is there any first century manuscripts of the New Testament, or the second century, I'm or the third century? I'm going to that now. Okay. Right. What I'm if there is none? What, what is the what is the consequence if there is zero manuscripts of the first uh, from the first century? What if is the consequence? Is, if there is zero yeah. manuscripts of the New Testament, that, yeah. then the consequence would be that the the New Testament is questionable. The, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. No, no, it will be. But I will make my research. I will make my research and get back to you. Good. That is yeah, what I wanted to hear from you, I'll my make friend. My research and get back that to is exactly what I wanted to hear from you. I might not know 
Presently, it might take me on a way. Okay. We are not, we are not uh, an archipelago of knowledge. Nobody knows it all. I never said I know it all. So, Remember I said to be humble, to say I don't know, okay. to do your research, so then it, come back, and I then we can do discuss. I research on that, on the yeah. new one, and if okay. it is... So if you find out, if you verify that there is zero manuscripts of the New Testament, you will confirm in front of the camera, whenever you come and talk to me, like, that your Bible is questionable. Okay. I'll come So everything you quote from the yeah. Bible is irrelevant then. So yeah. now... Now, so in the New Testament, tell me about the Sahabas. Alhamdulillah, and I will tell you no problem. Why is it that you trust the Quran so much that was written? Okay, by the so first and foremost, we have actually first century Al Hijra manuscripts. There's a manuscript of the Quran in Birmingham University. So it is in this country. If you want to verify, go and verify. But I can show you a BBC article about it. If you don't trust me, yes, Google it. Look for Birmingham manuscript of the Quran. Now, wait a minute. So yeah. I've given you. A manuscript from the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes? Is that good enough for you? So, no, no, no. What are you looking for then? If Muhammad yeah. did not write. Yeah, of course he did not write. Muhammad did not write. Yeah. Then the Sahabas are the companions that wrote. Yeah. Are they human beings like me and you? Yes, yeah. So was Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Are they perfect? Even if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wrote it, he's listen, still a human being. Listen, are they perfect or imperfect beings? Okay, that's a good question actually. Because I know where he's going exactly. Are they perfect or Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, my friend. So the Birmingham manuscript that you find in the in the Birmingham University, yeah. yes, what they did was they, they they looked at that and they looked at all the other Qurans around the world and they see if they match. Now, uh, wait a minute, a manuscript... So how does that prove the truth? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If something is propagated, yes, unanimously around the world, yes, and it so is... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is multiple, there is multiple, hold on, hold on. There is multiple individual attestments of that particular information, yeah. then that makes it a truth. Multiple. You know what, it doesn't make it a truth. Okay, I what is write, the truth? I can write a book, right? Yeah. I can write a book, Go on. and I preserve my book that I write. Sure and the go. book or about a fantasy, let's say that, like a reporter, I can draft an a reporter story from my own imagination. Okay, right? and? and make several copy of that a reporter yeah. with every point and every vowels the same yes and preserve it for almost 100 years only 100 years and those people not 1400 years example example bad example so now or maybe for a thousand years or one billion years yeah so you have to show now, me that evidence now only the muslims can show this evidence now 1400 years unchanged hundred, alhamdulillah if the address 100 copy yeah. remain the same yeah you understand that I've been read, that I wrote myself. Yes. Then it's very Does it make it true? Yes. No, no, no. There's a difference between truth. We haven't come to the truth yet. Does right now, listen, listen. Right now, we are only understanding whether it is verified and it goes all the way to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time. It doesn't this make is it a, true, my brother. Well, you're, you, you now move the goalpost to truth. My question to you about your Bible is at least to verify whether Jesus said it. I will verify. I will verify. But con concerning how you verify whatever the Sahaba says or whatever has been delivered. That's a different question. To verify whether no, the truth. Can, listen, listen. Before no you verify whether there's a truth there's or no the, way. Listen, hold on. Before you verify is a truth or falsehood, at least it must be from the time of where it is alleged. So first we first we find out historically, listen. For the historian, he doesn't care whether what is in the document is the truth or not. For a historian, his job is to ascertain whether this document is as old as it's claimed to be. Do you understand? That's, called, that's how it's done by carbon dating. Do you understand? Have you heard of carbon dating? Yes, I, I'm assuming. Okay. So carbon dating verifies what? The truth or the age? What does it verify? It verifies the age. Thank you very much. So but this is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The question I asked you wasn't about the truth. That comes later on. First, you need to at least verify that you have anything from the time of Jesus. Right now, you have zero manuscripts. I showed you at least one. So but then I've got the others. Man. I've got the Tokkabi manuscript, the Sanaa yeah. manuscript. We have the Husseini Mosque manuscript in Egypt. We have many manuscripts. We have 99.9% .9 of the Quran intact in manuscript form. Wait a minute. To, wait a minute. Wait a that minute. That was dated to Muhammad. Muhammad's time. Yes. Yes. Many of them were. Okay. Many of them. None from the Bible, from, from the time of Jesus or from the time of Moses. Zero manuscripts. So the Quran is at least much better. In fact, our hadiths, our hadiths are better than your Bible. You know why? I think so. Yes, I'll tell you why. Because why? the hadith, why? the people who collected the, the hadith after uh, more than 200 years, they verified it. You know how? They verified it through a chain of narration. And some of the chain of narration between Bukhari and the Prophet as less as four people in the chain.
So it's very easy. For example, if I wanted to verify whether the doctor in the NHS where I'm going to uh, use the consultancy service is a genuine doctor. Yes, because he can tell me I'm a doctor. But if I wanted to verify, I can actually go and ask the NHS and they'll verify. It's called testimony. So we believe in testimony, just like we believe in Jesus' yes. testimony when it compares to the Quran, even if it's found in the you Bible. In yes, yes, Quran. if it's in the I Bible. Don't, don't listen, know. listen, you have to ask me before you say you don't know. In the, in the Bible, if Jesus says that there is only one God, like in the Shema, and Moses said there is only one God, like he says in the Shema, Jesus then we believe, God, yeah, like then we believe that so. that is true because it is the same in the Quran. When Allah says to Isa alayhi salam and to his mother Mary, yes, whether they told people to worship them as God besides Allah and they say no Allah knows better and we said no such things so Isa alayhi salam actually confirms this yes in the Quran Isa also confirms who is his Rabb who is his Lord just like he says in the Bible I go to my father and your like father said, my like God said, and your God yes like I said similarly Jesus confirms the in the Quran was compiled and was written by the companion yes and based on that how can you prove the truth that is written there? Whatever okay, so, it says there, so now we are, now is negative. So now we are, we, are, we are going to a different question now. Yeah, First, we have verified whether the manuscripts... So I will verify what you told me. Yeah, definitely. sure, no problem. Uh, definitely, so we have verified the manuscripts exist. Now we verify... By the way, by the, by the way, do you know something? In, for us, the Muslims, yeah. our primary source of the Quran is actually an oral tradition. Yeah. Like, let me come, let I me. I might not pronounce your name properly. No, no, like, I'm coming. Analysis I gave, that I can just sit down now, like take for example, the book of Harry Potter. Yeah. The book of Harry Potter now says the same thing here, the same thing there, the same thing there. And later, maybe the next hundred years, someone now looking at the book. Yeah. Like, he, uh, get what I'm saying? Yeah. Someone now looking at the book, okay, let us glorify this book. Let us hold this book as our faith. Does not make it true. If, I never if, said it does. Says, this one here, the same thing here, the same thing there. Yeah. Because definitely it came from somewhere. And those people who wrote it are not there to physically witness it. And if you said that it is carbonated, yes, it can be carbonated. But is it true? So now you have moved, the, you have moved, the, you have moved on to another question. So, First, we verify if the manuscripts do exist and whether whether the oral tradition so exists. I think we might, continue, uh, we might continue this. I have to go. My wife will be waiting for me. Oh, no problem. I don't yeah. want you to get in Thank trouble. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll, I'll be waiting I'm for my tickets. Of, I'm, I'm writing a lot of books. So you have a Bible. We have a book. Ah, it's all right. If he wants to go. You know what? There are, there are interpolations in yeah. the Bible. My friend Amin can also help you. I'm not saying there is no interpolations. No, no. He said, listen, he said he's going to verify if no manuscripts exist for the New Testament yeah, from the first century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will find the New Testament questionable. Am I right? I will find the questionable. Questionable. Good, yes. alhamdulillah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Forget, uh, 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 Have you read the Quran, by the way? I've read all the 114 surahs. 4157. Before I can quote 4 verse 157. Uh -huh. By the way, uh, I would like you to explain yeah. uh, Surah chapter 3, verse 35. You want to do it next time or now? I don't want you to get you in trouble with your wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. so anyway, next time, inshallah, you God willing. You, know, you know the Quran says that Jesus Christ, Isa, is the word from God, right? Yeah. And at the time, he said it's the word of truth. It's Rosh chapter 6. Which words did you say? 3? Uh, 3 verse 45 or 47. Okay. Before we go to, 40, before we go to 45, yeah. let's read 339. No, 3 verse 30. Surat and Surat uh, Ali Imran. Said, uh, oh Mary, a word come from the yeah. Lord. 39, 39. Yeah, 39. Yeah, let me read 39. It's a very good um, ayah verse which everyone should read. So it says here in chapter 3, uh, Ali Imran, uh, verse number 39. So the angels called him while he was standing in prayer in the cha chamber. Indeed, Allah gives you good tidings of John confirming a word from Allah. Who will be honorable abstaining from women and a prophet from among the righteous? So this is about Yahya, not about Isa alayhi salam. Okay, so it's given it's, it's about Zakaria. When Zakaria no, 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 no. when Zakaria the father Let's read uh, thirty let's read let's read thirty eight. At that Zakaria called upon the Lord saying, My Lord, grant me from yourself a good offspring. Indeed you're the hero. 
you go to 45, okay. Okay. no, not 42, 45. 345. Oh, Mary, indeed. Oh, Mary, indeed. Allah, has Allah has purified you. No, not purified. Not purified. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and mention, this is. Uh, and same. mention, yeah. yeah. Right. 3 Ali Imran 45. It says, When the angel said, Oh, Mary, indeed, Allah gives you a good tiring of a word from him whose name will whose name will be the Messiah, yeah. Jesus, the son of Mary. Yeah. Okay? Not son of God for those who are listening. Son of Mary, distinguished in this world and the hereafter and among those brought near to Allah. What is, it's very simple. When he says, you're, I think you're focusing on the term word from him, right? That is your, no, no, no. That is your there purpose. Are two, there are two things I focus on. Okay, which is? It says, oh, oh Mary, yeah. indeed, Allah gives you a good tiring. Yeah. Of the word, of a word from him. Of a word from him. Whose name will be Christ, yes. Right? Right. Yeah. Whose name will be the Messiah, yeah. Jesus, the son of Mary. So Al Masih Isa ibn Maryam, distinguished in this world. Distinguished in this world. And the hereafter. And the hereafter. Among those who brought near to Allah. Among those who brought near to Allah. Yeah. Who are those who brought near to Allah? Uh, the righteous people, the prophets. You know how he was distinguished? Likewise, Muhammad was brought nearer to Allah. Listen, yeah. listen. What the, is the point you want to make from the, here? The point, yeah. the point I want to make here is what? Is that Jesus Christ is not ordinary prophet. We never said he was ordinary. He is distinguished among yeah. those. No matter what, he's more distinguished among those who are brought close to Allah in this world and in the year after. Yeah. Who are those brought to Allah? You know what is it? By the way, did you read the next verse? Did you read the next verse? Listen, listen. Hello. It says here, he will speak to the people in the cradle. Not a simple thing to do. Yeah, in parables. Yes. No, no. In, in the cradle, that means when he was a baby, infant. And in maturity, and will be of the righteous. She said, this is the key one you need to ask. This is answer your question about the word. She said, my Lord, how will I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, such is Allah. He craves what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Kun Fayakun, be and it, is. and it is. So this is the word, the command of Allah. Yes. That's why it's called the word of Allah, which he's not an ordinary person because he did not he wasn't born born ordinary. It's the word of God. Likewise, the Bible refers to him also as word of God. Yeah. Listen, then the question is, is the word of God divine or not? The word of God, I'll answer that, no problem. When you say the word of God, is it divine? Yes, what do you mean by divine? First answer that. No, is it divine? I'll yes tell or you. no? Is it yes or no question? Okay, when you say the word of God, yes, yes what are you are implying to? Is it divine? Okay, yes Jesus no? is not divine. No, is the word of God divine? Yes or no? <laughs> I know he's getting no, it. No, is the word of God okay. divine? Yes or the no? The speech of Allah is divine. divine. Can I answer? Yes. I know you're looking for a particular answer. Because no, you will... the Quran refers to but I'm the answering. word of truth. But I'm answering. I'm answering. Yeah. If you allow me. Answer. Okay. The word of Allah, the Quran, is the word of Allah. It's divine or not? Hold on, I'll answer the way I want. Stop rushing me. If you want to rush to your wife, go please. I'm not rushing. But you were rushing me I when am, I'm answering you. So rush to your wife then. She has a king. <laughs> she has a king. <laughs> you know, you're living in England. <laughs> <laughs> who, wears, who wears the trousers? It's a woman, definitely. <laughs> uh, not in my case. Or, or in most, most people. Don't, don't speak for most people anyway. Okay, what I'm asking you is this. If the word of Allah is the Quran, then you cannot compare it to Jesus. I'll tell you why. Because Jesus was created. Yes, Jesus is the creation, kun fayakun, by Allah, so it's not divine. Anything that is divine is not something that is... Wait, I'm answering. Anything that is created is not divine, as far as the Muslims are concerned. Anything that is created, listen to this. The Quran is the Quran, either the Mus'haf of the Quran. Listen, listen, listen. Look, here's the Quran. Here's the Quran. The Quran, which is a Mus'haf, is man's, this is man's, uh, what is the work? Yes, however, what is contained in it, the Arabic, uh, the Arabic Quran, it is a speech and the words of Allah. The words that you say, that according to, uh, no, let me just speak. I haven't finished yet. So, why you didn't you, why didn't you keep your thoughts with you? you? No, no, keep word. your thoughts with you. I'm finishing my answer. Ashmi. But you need to listen. I know you have a particular answer. I'm not going to give you that. Ashmi. Okay? <laughs> I know, I know you have an answer. Divine. Yes. Divine. No, anything and, that is created, did you not hear what I said? Anything that is created is not divine. Among every other no, let me okay. that. To this word and Which part of what I just said so, you didn't understand? Anything so, that is created is not divine. So Jesus is disqualified. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I knew he was okay, going for that. A word, a word of Allah is not a word listen itself. To me, listen, listen to now. Me. I made this word. Ashim, Ashim, give me one, this word is created. That okay. I'm saying. Was Isa a listen, listen. You know the words I read to you for, sorry, 455 and 56? Yeah. It says when Allah wants to create something, what does he say? 
It said B. Exactly. And so, B. so in that verse, was Jesus created? Jesus was created. Alhamdulillah. So he's not divine. No, no, no. He's not divine. I think you should go to your wife. So Jesus Bye -bye. was created. Let me tell you something. Yeah. And not in the context of Quran. Of course not. I never yes, said in the context. Not in the context of Quran. Yeah. Quran referred to Jesus as the word of truth. If you want to compare, and what is the word of truth? Is the word of Allah. Okay, but and it's, as it's, it's, the, the word of truth. It's, 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 no, no, no. It's, it's, chapter six. You know, okay, so when you say the word of truth, first and foremost, yeah. is it talking about the creation or the creator? It's talking about Jesus Christ being the word of truth. No, 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 no. I, I, word of truth. When you say word, read Sula chapter six. Okay, even if he's talking about Jesus, see. listen. Even if he's talking about Jesus. Is Jesus a creation of Allah? Definitely. So how can it be I divine? Doubt, I don't doubt. It's divine. So how can it be divine? It's divine. It's divine. Do you know what, what divine? divine? For us Muslims, divine. for us, divine. for us Muslims, divine means. Ask you what is divine? Yeah. For us, yeah. for us Muslims, divine means God. anything. Anything God. Anything God that is associated with attributes, everything is God, God Almighty. Like. Yes. Okay. Take for example. If you want to compare made, Jesus, made Allah says in the Quran, the, Bible the similarity, that the example of Jesus is like that of Adam. Divine, in the sense that he said that the Father has given him all power and authority. In the Bible? Yes. Yeah. In the Bible? He said he has given him all power and authority. Okay. So, okay. And and what is Jesus saying? And Jesus Christ was the first thing. First thing, what you could don't know is that it was the first thing created by God Almighty. Okay. When you say, yeah, wait, wait, wait. First thing. Let me let me respond to and them. True is God created. Effie, the world. can I ask you something? You said Jesus was given. Habibi, yeah. Habibi, wait. Yeah. You true said Jesus. You world. said Jesus was given all power and authority. And the Quran said it that true is what. Are you listening? Everything Hello, are you listening? You said Jesus was given all power and authority. Yes. yes? He said it himself. If, if he had all the power and authority, why did he say? I have to pray to my father to call the 12 legions. Uh, listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Time. All power and authority. Yes. And uh, uh, Jesus Christ said this in his statement. Yes. Will you answer Matthew my question? Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. He said it. Legions, the 12 legions. Now, now he said I have to you. pray to my father. Let Why? Let me explain to you. Now, the father. Because he didn't have all the authority. Listen, he still has listen, to ask the father. The father is the almighty God. Yes. Right? And Jesus Christ was called mighty God in the Bible was called mighty God. Mighty God. Yes. Oh, you mean in the Isaiah chapter? Isaiah. That's, not no, 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 no. That's not about Jesus. That's not about Jesus. He was talking about Isaiah chapter 6. Mighty, 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 not almighty God. He's called, Listen, he's called mighty. Jesus wait, wait. Christ was created. Okay, you are between God Almighty and Jesus Christ. By the way, is Jesus the Father? <laughs> Jesus Christ was created. Don't is Jesus, Jesus the Father? He's not the Father. So in the same chapter, Jesus Isaiah 9, 6. Wait, wait. In the same chapter, Isaiah 9, 6. He's called the eternal Father. The eternal Father. Yeah. Who is the eternal Father? God Almighty or Jesus? God Almighty has immortality. He's not eternal. <laughs> is Jesus the eternal Father or not? This one is the eternal Father. And who is the, and the righteousness of, of And wait, wait. If Jesus is the eternal Father, yes. who is his Father? God Almighty. Is God Almighty eternal Father? God Almighty has immortality. No, no. I didn't ask you about I'm asking about and eternal. Immortality. You see, when I no, talk about eternal, eternal they bring eternal. immortality. You know the when eternal. I talk about immortal, they bring eternal. You know the difference between eternal and immortality. I didn't ask about immortal. I asked about eternal. So that's why I'm using immortality is, for God Almighty. Okay. Because it wasn't created. Is God the Father eternal Father or not? He's not eternal. He's immortal. God father. is not eternal. Not wow. Eternal. What's wrong with this guy? Yeah. He's immortal. What kind of a God you believe in who's not that's eternal? I'm asking you. Do you God believe? What is Are you saying God the Father is not eternal? Eternity. God eternity. What are you mean, saying God the Father is not eternal? The make, angels think are eternal. before you talk. Before you the talk. angels are eternal. Who said the angels are eternal? The, Did the angels make God? God Almighty is only one that is immortal. I think you are going all over the place. This is immortality. Maybe, maybe it is a pleasure to go home. <laughs> my, my, my knowledge, my knowledge is very. You understand. Actually, your your knowledge, you 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 contradict yourself. No, I don't contradict myself. God Almighty is immortal, like you quoted. Is God Almighty eternal? Is God Almighty eternal or not? God Almighty is immortal. Is he eternal? Eternal. No. No. So That's why I'm asking there. you. So That's why I'm asking I think we should end here. No. That's why I'm asking okay. you. Eternal. What's the difference between what do you know understand by eternal? Okay. Eternal means you, in the context no, no, of God. Wait, wait, wait. Was there no, he said, wait, wait, he says he has eternity. He says he has deep knowledge. If you, if, you have, if you have God Almighty and you are into the paradise, you will gain immortality. I don't That's think you will know the meaning of eternal. No, no. You will get immortality. Immortality oh. is for God and God alone. Oh. Which God? If I go to heaven, I'll, I, if I go to heaven, Wait, immortality. I'll die. Okay, immortality. What's yeah. the difference between immortality and eternity? That's what Max says you. If you know, I know. If you don't know, but then do you? Tell me. But know. do you know? So I know, but you tell me. Okay, you said God. You said God the Father is not eternal. Am I right? Yeah, he's immortal. Okay, he's immortal but not eternal. Yeah, according to the Bible. Okay, can an immortal, can an immortal, be not eternal? I ask you, do you know the difference between? Yes, I know. 
and I know, I know. Tell but me. I want to make sure first whether what you're saying it Ashim. makes sense to you. Please it's tell Hashim. me. Ashim. Ashim. Yes. Ashim. Okay. Okay. Tell me what is the difference between immortality okay. and since he doesn't know, let me teach him. Okay. Eternal means everlasting. No beginning, no end. That is called eternal. Do you agree with that definition? Okay. What is your definition? Let's see. Let's see. Wait. This is going to be fun. What's your definition? The, the immortality. No, no, eternal, not immortal. Let me explain eternal, to you. Eternal, no. eternal. First, explain eternal. eternal. Let me explain to you. Yeah, go on. The difference between the, the two. No, I didn't ask ah, the difference. Okay. I asked you to define you eternal. Know, you don't know. And Let me explain it. to you. Eternal. Immortality. Don't shout. Calm I will down. Go, I will go Calm down. down. The difference between immortality and eternal is. Yeah, it's what? Right. Eternal is to live forever and can be given as a reward. <laughs> so those faithful, like now you were born as mortal. But you said father is not what? eternal. He said father is not eternal. So who gives so, eternity? Can I quote the Bible in there? Can you just have the patience? Send the words, send the words. And then he's going to pass the Bible. But you see a lie. Have the patience to listen. No, you are shouting. You don't have you studied your Bible. Okay. The Bible yes. is eternal. It's the Bible. He's, immortality. He said he has I'm deep knowledge more than us. Immortality. If you want to learn, you learn. You don't know. Immortality, immortality is for God only. Which God? God? Which God? God the Father only. And that's why an eternal father is not eternal because of what? <laughs> I'm stuck for a Yeah, please do, please do, please do. Please, you mean not? Make me make my point. I'm not make my point. If you don't know, you listen to duty, then let the person finish. <laughs> so the understanding is this: the father is immortality. So, is, so let me ask you this: the only one that dwells in immortality. Okay. Immortality we know immortal. is not created. Okay. By the way, what is what wait, is it? What wait. is immortal to you? What is immortal? Immortality means what? From everlasting to everlasting, it's not created. Okay. What is it? What, what is eternal? Eternal, wait, wait. eternal? What is eternal now? Eternal does not mean that you live from everlasting to everlasting. What does eternal mean? Eternal means that you can start your life and you live. Yeah, you know the guy, the guy doesn't know, know simple know. basic and definition and he's saying I have deep knowledge. No, you don't have. You don't have. I agree I don't have as much deep as you. You're deep in some other nonsense now. Bro, bro, I think we should wrap it up here. Jesus Christ does not have life in himself. So, so, so you're saying the father began at some time. Did the father begin to exist at some time? If you listen to me carefully, then you understand me. You which, is, which is what? Did the father begin to exist or did I he always the exist? The father does not have beginning nor the end. That is immortality because it's No, eternal. That's, that's eternal. That's no. eternal. Immortality. Look, what should I tell him, honestly? Check the definition of eternal and immortal. Okay, okay. Why did, you, why did you learn English, by the way? No, 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 and I don't mean this in a bad way. Why did you learn English? According to the, according to the, Shall we look at the dictionary? No, no, See, no, no, Shall we look at the dictionary? dictionary. Here's the dictionary. No. Can you read it aloud, please? Let me tell you something. No, no, read it aloud. <laughs> dictionary, I know. But you know? The matter of dictionary. I don't think you know the dictionary. Read it. So, okay, Can you read okay, it, please? Okay, okay, Can you read okay, it? Okay, take for example. I don't think you read because he doesn't like reading at all. Take for example. Can you read? The angels are they immortal. Can you please read? No, 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 no. Before you no. ask, before I answer anything, then can you I read this? Question. You got my question. Can you answer? Are they immortal? Okay, let me read it because you don't know how to read. No, 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 so the, eternal the, means... The angels, are they immortal? Shh, shh, shh. No. Calm down. The angels were created, by the way. They're not eternal. Yes. And the you angels, the angels, angels will die. The angels are not eternal. The angels will die. They're not they eternal. Not They're not eternal, no. Lasting and or existing forever without end, that is eternal. So, when you get... When you but get, what do you say that's immortal? When you get to... So I don't know. I don't Please, know. my friend, so with all due respect, guy, go and yeah. learn the English definition. No, 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 no. Because, because you seem to be... You don't understand it. So, you don't even no, believe no, no. the dictionary now? Look, look. The dictionary people wrote it. Look, look, look. People wrote it. This guy, so Where did you get your definitions from? Yourself? Immortality, it is where you have life in yourself. He's still exposed. Let him expose himself. You have life in yourself. Let him expose himself. I won't expose, that is the truth. You, when you go home, you laugh. Your family will laugh at that you. That is why Paul Please said, tell your family not to watch this. That's why Paul said. Because you're embarrassing yourself now. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 6. He said God is not eternal. Let me quote them. Let me quote the Bible for the Bible. No. I, think, I, think he, I think he doesn't one know minute. the definition. One minute. Let yeah. me give you what. God is immortal. Let me keep quiet for a while. If you read the Bible. Let me from a Let me to me. You're not. That's eternal. My wife is not here. God is not eternal. Please tell your wife not to watch this. She might. You might be. In worse situation than going home late. You know what? People have to get a lot of knowledge. Lot of knowledge. Yeah, I think you, you need to read the dictionary sometimes. See, a past for me, there is no God. And the first and the last. He doesn't know. Who is the first and the last? So God is created. Bro, bro, you need to go now. You need to go. I mean, just read the word stream. Just read the word stream. It's okay, just stay for the camera. Stay for the camera. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. You're from Africa. It's a basic education. Secondary school. 
Yeah. Yeah. The child of the meaning. It goes beyond. Stuff. It goes beyond. I, I think, you tell me uh, bro, you're embarrassing yourself now. No, embarrassing. For your own good, I think you should go. Entertain yourself. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. You're Allah, at the point in time, started existence. You don't know the meaning of eternal? Please don't use it. Does Allah started existence? Go away, please. At the point you're embarrassing yourself. You said you, you have to go. Yourself. You have to go, so go. Please, you don't know the meaning of eternal? Immortality for knowledge, for those who want to know. Immortality. I will let him destroy himself. That's fine. In yourself. When you have life in yourself, like God Almighty, is not created. Nobody we, created him. We know that. And he will live from everlasting to everlasting. That's called eternal. He doesn't have a end. He doesn't have That's a That's called kingdom. eternal. No. It's immortality. <laughs> that is you have life, the power over life. Over Astaghfirullah. Life. But when you are eternal. This is what happens when you're arrogant, you know? You don't want to learn. Even Actually, when you correct it. Even when the dictionary so corrects you, you don't want to learn. That is the kind of arrogance we're dealing with here. So, eternal is a reward, eternal life. It's a reward that will be given to those who are faithful. Who are faithful, they'll be given eternal life to live forever, the power to live forever. But if they are given the power to live forever, does not mean that they have life in themselves. Their life still depends on God Almighty. For God Almighty is the only one that has immortality. We know that. And immortality means that you have life in yourself. What does immortal mean, by the way? What does immortal mean? Immortal means that you have life in yourself. You have control over your life. Not, you don't give, nobody gives you life. Okay. You live from to everlasting. And, and what do you call the word when somebody doesn't die? What is the word for that? When they someone live, doesn't die? They live forever, everlasting to everlasting. No, I didn't ask you those who live forever. I, said, I said those who don't die. Eterna. No, it's immortal. Go educate yourself. No, no, Read no. a dictionary. Okay, dictionary, anyway. different, dictionary meaning is misleading. <laughs> so you know better English than God, the people who God, know dictionary. God have, uh, God have, By the way, where do you get your degree in English from? Does God have, no, where do you get your degree in English from? from see, the degree I have, you won't have it. Does God have, where did you get your degree in English from? Because you said you know better than the people who wrote the dictionary. Dictionary is out of it when it comes to spirituality. You know when you learn a language, do you actually use so, the dictionary so or you no, don't? No, no, no. no, 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 no let no, me ask you. Let me ask you. When you learn... Do you use English? So it appears from certain spiritual meaning in Quran? When I read the Quran... Do you use English to justify can it? I, can, I, can I answer? What I'm talking about, about earlier, you are talking about Allah, Allah, Allah. Then there are some things you don't use English to justify. I'm asking you, when you learn English, did you ever use a dictionary? Don't bring in English to this crucial matter. Have you ever used a dictionary at all? No, I don't see? read because this I This is read. arrogance. Guys, see you later. No wonder, you know, Wallahi, this is the problem. When you come with arrogance in speaker's corner and you make yourself... <laughs> You, may, you, you really embarrass yourself like the way this guy did. And that's why I wanted him to talk by himself. Because when you start saying God is not eternal, it only means that you don't know the word eternal. Because I personally think he knows the meaning of eternal. Sorry, he knows that God is eternal. But just because he's so arrogant to understand the term eternal does not mean someone who doesn't die. Yes, it means someone who's ever existing. And that actually is, can only be God. And that can only mean that he's immortal because God is the only one who's immortal. But the two terms, eternal and immortal, are what he actually kind of crisscrossed. Yes? So he's saying one is the other. And he's even arrogant to say that I never used dictionary in my life. No wonder he never, he never learned the English terms. Yes? And like Brother Amin said, the people in Africa, they learn basic English at a very young age. And they do know their English quite well. Yes? Some of the best uh, news readers on the, uh, on the BBC, they are actually from... African countries, yes? And they learn the English quite well. Whether, even, even if they did not, they will know such basics. Or at least they will say, if I don't know, let me look up the dictionary and then I'll believe in it. But he's saying, no, I don't want you to look at the dictionary. I don't even care about the people who wrote the dictionary. Yes? In fact, he says, I never used the dictionary at all. <laughs> Wallahi, this is like embarrassment. After, you're just digging yourself in a hole. When you start showing arrogance, and this is exactly what happened to the shaitan. Yes? When Allah told him to bow to Adam, he says, how can I bow? I'm made of uh, fire and he's made of clay. Yes? This is the first racist in the history. Yes? Of, ex of, 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 of the known history. And this is the first racist. Why? Because he's comparing himself, making himself to be high and mighty compared to everybody else. So he couldn't, he couldn't just put his head down. And that's the reason, you know, why we worship Allah. Yes? By submission to him. And the, and the best way of submission, in the Quran, Allah says that, sorry, uh, there's a hadith which says that you're closest to Allah when you are in sujood, when you are in prostration. And that is exactly what Jesus did. 
This is exactly what Abraham did in the Bible. And other prophets like David and Moses and so on, when they prayed to God Almighty, they prayed in full submission to Almighty God. Yes, because what that, what that actually does, it breaks your arrogance if you have any. That I consider everything else, including myself, yes? Under, when it comes to God Almighty, we all are subservient. And when you are in sujood, you're closest to Allah, yes? And this is the beauty of Islam, that we leave out all our arrogance, every, all our haughtiness, yes? Aside, when we submit our worship and will to the one Almighty Allah, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.